Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel where today we are doing a full-length non-spoilery review of Defect by Nino Cipri. So Defect is the second book in the Littenverse novella series, which is an adult, I think, speculative fiction, maybe science fiction, uh, series of novellas. You, The first book being Finna. So this is a companion novel to that. And in this one, we are following our main character of Derek. And uh, he is like an exemplar employee and he calls in sick one day, which leads the management to question his loyalty. And so to prove himself, he is put on a special overnight inventory shift. And then the special overnight inventory team shows up and they're very unusual and the inventory that they are taking care of is also very unusual and the adventure kind of goes from there. So first up let's talk about the world building. So in this one we actually expand out our understanding of Littenvarld which is a knockoff Ikea and how corporate kind of works and we do this primarily through like excerpts from the special employee handbook and memos and things like that in between each of the chapters which was great because we got to find out that information which also gave more context to, to what was happening within the story and it just it, I think it worked really really well um it obviously builds on the world that we established in the first book, first novella, um, Finna. And, but whereas Finna was really dealing with the wormholes, this shifts focus more onto the inventory team as well as this defective merchandise that they are kind of tracking down on the special overnight shift. And I thought that that was very interesting. Um, and it's also very effective because it means that this book is really can be read as a standalone. Now, obviously, if you read Finna as well, you're going to have a much broader understanding of this world. And also it will contextualize the first part of this book where we meet Jules, who is a character from the first one. Um, but it isn't necessary at all to read Finna before you read Defect. Um, the one issue that I had is that I thought, so there's, in a novella, there's always a balance between, between being concise in your explanations and giving enough information so that the reader isn't asking questions. And I don't think that Nino Cipri quite got, got the balance on everything in this particular book, especially regarding the special inventory team, as well as this defective merchandise. I walked away still having some questions about the how and the why. Um, and it did, because I had those questions, it did draw me out of the story to some extent. Um, and overall, I thought it was okay. Like, it, it didn't completely hinder my enjoyment of the story or anything like that, but it was a bit of a disappointment because the author did such a good job with that balance in Finna, and it was uh, it was disappointing that we didn't have it in this book as well. But overall, I did like the world building that we got. I just had a few more questions that I had hoped would have been answered. So next, let's talk about the characters. And obviously, Derek is our main character. Um, Derek is very much that employee that you know. You know, like, scary competent and definitely a company man. And you just kind of hate them a little bit. <laughs> Their social skills are not there, right? Um, and this book is really about Derek. And so, you know, we establish who he is and we have this, this adventure that he goes on, which provides a pivot point for like him deciding who he is and who he wants to be. And so I thought all of that was really interesting. However, I don't think that we got a satisfying ending to his character arc because we saw that this was a pivot point and we saw that he could be a different person, but I don't think that we quite got enough about what specifically he was planning to do in the future or who he was planning to be. And so with his, like with his arc specifically, I don't think it was, it wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. 
Um, and then the other characters that we are really dealing with in this particular book is that special inventory team. And this is alluded to on the back, so I'm not really spoiling anything, but the, all, the um, special inventory team is made up of alternate Derricks. And so obviously this is very jarring for Derek himself, but I thought it was interesting because each of the alternate Derricks were very individual. They had their own personalities, but I really, really appreciated that even as they were very individual, Derek was able to look at them and say, this is me if I like pulled a different personality trait to the forefront, right? So he saw himself in each of his alternates. And I really appreciate that and just that subtle, that maybe not so subtle, but that nod to like, we can choose who we are and we can choose what personality traits we want to bring to the forefront. And when we do that, we change who we are as a person. And I just kind of really enjoyed that aspect to it, as well as just enjoying the group dynamic. I should say here, there, just as a warning, um, there, <laughs> there is romantic interests between two of the Derricks which I found to be honestly a little off-putting. It's not to my particular taste and it did draw me out of the story, but it wasn't like there was like a big steamy sex scene or anything like that. It was just like it cropped up every once in a while and it's, it's there. Um, so just a heads up. It wasn't, again, it wasn't to my particular taste, but your mileage may vary. So next up, let's talk about the plot. And I thought that this was just a lovely, good action kind of plot. Once we got into the action, it just kind of was very fast until the end. I didn't always know where we were going. And once I did know where we were going, I wasn't quite sure how we were going to get there necessarily. But, you know, it. this book really took me along for the ride. And I honestly really just kind of enjoyed I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, because, so this is a book that is kind of, if you read the, the description, it sounds much more like it's kind of an action adventure kind of story, but this is really Derek's self-discovery and his growth. And as such, his character arc is really kind of the centerpiece of this book. And because of that, and because we didn't have a satisfying end to his character arc, I did find the ending of the book to be a bit unsatisfying. Um, and it was open-ended, and I knew to expect that because Finna was a bit open-ended as well. Um, but I'm okay with open-ended, but this just wasn't quite satisfying. Like, I wanted to know more. And I think that it wouldn't have taken much for me to be good with the ending. So a little bit of mixed feelings there. Um, and I did want to men I did also want to mention that because this is really about Derek's self-discovery, the special inventory team doesn't even show up until almost halfway through this story because in the beginning we're spending time setting up who Derek is as a character. And so like that was a little bit jarring. I kept expecting this special inventory team to show up. And it, like I said, it took all, until almost the halfway point for them to be there. So yes, very much about Derek's self-discovery. And it, it worked out and I really did like it. And I liked that we were using this uh, handling of the special inventory defective merchandise to, um, you know, push Derek's arc forward. I thought it was done well. Um, lastly, let's talk about the structure style and pacing. This is fast paced, very straightforward kind of style. Like I said, there were extras that were kind of put between the chapters that were things like excerpts from the special employee handbook, as well as like memos and those kinds of things, which I do think was, again, very effective, provided context, as well as just interesting bits of world building. Um, there is one thing that I should mention, and that is one glaring typo. And it is essentially that one of the alternates, like it was just the wrong name was put in. So um, like one alternate's name was put in, but it should have been somebody else's. It's the only reason I'm bringing it up because is because it does 
um, end up misgendering the non-binary alternate, which is not great, right? Like if you're going to make a typo, that's not the one you want. Um, I did figure it out after a minute. It wasn't terrible, but like just, just a heads up because yes, that is a thing. But, um, it, overall, I really, I enjoyed this book. I didn't, I didn't love it quite as much as I loved Finna, but I really enjoyed the experience. I liked seeing this wider world. I thought Derek's story was interesting. And just generally, I had a good time with this book. And I would be so happy to read more novellas in this series. And I ended up giving this book four stars. Um, so that is it, you guys. If you have any thoughts and feelings about this book, please leave them down below. But that is all I have. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, have happy reading and I will see you in the next video. Bye!